How difficult was it uh, to seem like you were having a pretty good camp and that to suffer that injury at the time it, it occurred? Uh, for me, you know, I feel like everything does happen for a reason. Uh, you know, this time I was out, I got to learn a lot of football, learn, learn a lot about tight end, uh, sit back and kind of, you know, be with my coach more and, and just learn from Dallas and those guys out there playing. So, you know, it, it was tough, but it was definitely uh, a blessing in disguise, maybe. Once your reps came at 13 personnel on that second quarter drive, uh, what did you learn about yourself as a blocker, and how do you think you've improved kind of since training camp? Uh, yeah, you know, our tight ends coach, Coach Michael, does a great job with us. Uh, he prepares us for each game, and then, you know, having Jack and Dallas out there as well helps a lot. So I feel very comfortable, you know, whenever I'm out there with those guys. Yeah, aside from Coach Michael, is there anybody else that's really worked with you on the blocking element of, of the game and helped you there? Um, you know, a little bit back in Buffalo with my old offensive coordinator, uh, Coach Kolonicki, but it was it was more so a lot here, just a lot here with Coach Michael during OTAs, and then just giving me stuff to do while I went home for the summer, and then when we came back, uh, we just spent a lot of time on it. When they traded um, Zach Gertz, Howie made a, a point of talking about your upside, your ceiling, and how getting a look at you in the second half of the season once you were healthy was a big part of why they moved Zach. Um, what was your reaction to that? And I mean, it, it's got to be nice to feel wanted like that. Uh, for me, you know, I just got to control what I control and, and just continue to get better each day. Um, you know, making the transition is going to be, you know, ups and downs, like I said before. So just continue to get better each day. And um, just having someone like Zach in the room was awesome. Just learned so much from him. And even now, I still talk to him and still, you know, keep in touch with him and learn from him. So, yeah. Was there a silver season different than the preseason? Uh, I just it, it means a lot more, you know, in the preseason. It doesn't count for wins and losses. The regular season does, so it just means more. And, you know, attention to detail has got to be there. And like I said, we have great offensive coaches that get us prepared each game. And, you know, we know what we're supposed to do out there. As, as far as, though, as the way the defenses were playing or, or the opponents you were going against, did you notice any difference there? It's football, football. Oh, uh, you know, obviously, you know, each game is more important and more important. And like I said, they prepare us well. So we're more so just worried about, you know, executing what they call our coaches and not so worried about, you know, other things. So we just have to control what we can control. You mentioned um, that watching benefited you. What were some of the things that uh, you picked up just from watching that maybe you, ha you wouldn't have noticed had you been in there? Oh, uh, you know, well, I got to watch a lot of film. You know, I was out, I, I watched a ton of film, watched a lot of target cutups of, you know, the good tight ends in the league. And then, you know, I, I feel like we have had two great tight ends in our room with, you know, uh, Zach and Dallas. So to watch them, how they practice, how they go about the week, game week, what days they watch film, what they do to, you know, make sure their body feels 100% when they get out there. So those are just things that I got to learn. When you get on the field and you lined up there, the Denver, I mean, uh, they, they kind of took a look at you and then they called timeout. Did that make you, did that surprise you? When you were out there in formation, or uh, when you're in the game, you just you're not really thinking too much about that stuff. We were just out there, and a timeout was called, and then you know you just go on. It's just play each play how it is. You don't really think too much into it. Do you think it surprised them that to see you out there in in the formation? They're trying to figure out what defense. No, I, I'm not sure what what it was, or what, you know, there's people call timeouts for so many different reasons. So um, you know, you never know what it is. What other <laughs> Yeah, uh, a lot of Travis Kelsey, like Darren Waller, Gronk, um, you know, just the, you know, just just the guys like that. And then, like I said, I watch Zach and Dallas a ton, and even uh, you know having Noah here, Jack, Richard Rogers, just watching those guys work in practice as well. So it's been it's been beneficial. How, how much easier was your rehab, or not easier, but just being motivated, knowing they kept you on the 53 at final cutdown, didn't put you on IR first, so you could come back. Uh, did that kind of help with the motivation as far as going through rehab, knowing there was a, a light at the end of the tunnel this year? Yeah, definitely. You know, just continue to stay hungry the whole time. And we have a great strength staff and a great training room. You know, they took really good care of me and they made it, you know, rehab's tough, but they made it fun. You know, there was goals and things like that. So it was it was beneficial and it helped me a lot. But yeah, definitely If hungry. you think back six months ago, one year ago, where did you think you'd be November 12th this year? I don't know. That's that's a good question, to be honest. You know, I was probably just around this time, I was just starting to maybe think about switching to tight end and, you know, starting to do workouts for teams. And, you know, I always believe in myself because that's just how you were supposed to be as an athlete. And, I, you know, I always thought that I could possibly be here in this position. But, you know, it's been awesome, and it's definitely a blessing. Tyrell, 
Do you, do you feel like a tight end now? I mean, or do you still feel like you're a quarterback playing tight end? No, I feel like a tight end. Ever since OCAs, when I put my hand in the dirt, that's why I felt like a tight end. So obviously there's going to be, you know, a learning curve and, and growing each each day, but I definitely feel comfortable. So from a sentimental standpoint, uh, from a sentimental standpoint, last week was your first game. Did you kind of keep any keepsakes or, or anything uh, to kind of – out of the moment since you've had such a such a road to this, this. Uh, no, I definitely try to enjoy it, but I didn't want to make it any bigger than it was. You know, like you said, it was a long time coming, but um, at the same time, it's just football. And you got to go out there. And you got to, you know, do what, do what you're supposed to do. So I didn't make too big a deal, out, but it was definitely a blessing. Just real quick, uh, what was exactly was the injury? And, and can you give us a little more detail of about the, the rehab and that process? Yeah, it was just basically what, what it was told, uh, just my back. So, you know, the rehab was just me continue to get, you know, in shape, back in shape, get back strong, you know, and those things and just doing whatever the training staff asked of me. So that was really all.